Well, he scored enough goals in the NHL. We can see that great celebration that he, uh, he utilizes uh, when he scores a goal. Tomas Tatar, welcome back to Grand Rapids. Uh, needless to say, all of us who have been with you love you, uh, missed you while you were gone. We're thrilled that you were gone where you were, but, uh, man, we're even more excited that you're back here. Oh, yeah, for sure. I miss Grand Rapids. I miss the fans here. Uh, of course, you want to stay up there, but this is just the way how it is. So I'm, I'm happy here, too, as well, and I, like, I love Grand Rapids. So. First NHL goal, you of course grabbed the front of your Red Wing sweater and pulled it out, and uh, and of course your Christmas gift this year was a gag gift. They gave you a jersey with the logo on the back and your name on the front, so they had some fun with that for sure. Oh yeah, for for sure, you guys are making fun of me like with my celebrations, but uh, I got really excited when I scored a goal. You know, this is all hockey about, so right, so when you score, you should be happy. So I'm not afraid to show it. Guys work on their goal celebration. Uh, yeah, sometimes you think about it, you know, like uh, like on the World Championship when I used to play there, I always have something in my pocket, so when I score there, I show something. But here in the league, is like, you know, you score more goals, and so you, sometimes you should be humble, and sometimes when it's like important, you just get crazy. It'd be like uh, Peter Morazic, where he races all the way down the ice and jumps on a pile when there's still three minutes to go in a game. Yeah, you saw that. You saw Moraz on the World Championship. Beat. So, uh, yeah, you should you just get crazy, you know, because of all the enthusiasm and everything. So, uh, I like celebrations and I like scoring goals. Your NHL goal celebration is down on a knee with a fist pump, basically, kind of like the Tiger Woods down on a knee type thing. And Brad Thompson, I don't know if he was just kidding, I'm sure he was, said you got to work on that celebration. No, I don't think so. I like showing my biceps, so I think I'm going to stick with that one for a little while. All right, why are you back here? I mean, uh, you're still a young kid. Uh, you know, you're back now. Nyquist goes up. Obviously, they want to give him a chance to play a little bit. So, uh, your thoughts on returning to Grand Rapids? Oh, uh, you know what? Like, I think Gus deserves a chance too. I mean, he has been for Grand Rapids uh, outstanding for a whole year. So, I mean, it's kind of hard for us. Maybe if we in a different team, we would be play. But this is just the way how Detroit is working. So. Uh, we gotta we gotta wait a little longer and we gotta work our our job you know like we gotta work our way up so I, I don't think so we you know we we should be here but just like this is the way how it is so like I think we we are enough patient to wait for NHL games. Tommy, a lot of guys you know the first question you're gonna get asked by media or, you know people just talking uh, you know is he gonna be happy back in Grand Rapids and the response with you anyway. Absolutely, because you have such a great attitude, you're smiling all the time, you enjoy, uh, you know, sincerely your teammates, uh, and you like very sincerely Grand Rapids as well. Yeah, that's a lot of people try to tell me, like, don't be disappointed. Like, well, obviously, I'm, uh, I'm a little sad, uh, I'm not staying longer in NHL, but uh, as soon as I'm here, I don't want to think about it, and uh, I just want to enjoy my game here in Grand Rapids, and uh, I'm enjoying playing for Grand Rapids in front of these great fans, so I don't mind it, and when I'm here, I'm going to just try my best here. And you're still so young, and you have such a great future ahead of you, and I think being in Detroit, not that you ever doubted you'd play in the NHL, or anyone ever doubted you'd play in the NHL, but didn't you go there and reinforce the fact that I can play here and I can be a good player in the National Hockey League? That's what a lot of, a lot of people uh, said, like, because I was improving here in Dallas and Grand Rapids, and they were like, oh, but can he play up there in Detroit? So I think I prove I can, and so it's just a question when I'm going to get back. And uh, But now is the time, you know, like, be, and help, be helpful for this team again, and uh, you never know when the chance is going to come back. Things are different up there right now, aren't they, without Lidstrom and Holmstrom and all the guys that are out with injury. Uh, there's a sense of Detroit right now of, man, what's happening to our Red Wings? Yeah, you know, it's kind of a tough time when you lose uh, great demons like uh, like Nick or Brett Stewart or Rafalski. It's kind of hard to replace, and uh, we just got to work on that. They have some injuries. Uh, I don't know when Carl is going to come back. He's, he's been practicing with us for, for a month when I've been there. So if he might come back, things might change, you know, and uh, some injured guy is going to get back. So, But, I mean, we're still in the playoff position, so, I mean, they, they don't... It's not like, you know, it's kind of hard in the, the shortest season. It's kind of hard for guys to, you know, lots of injuries, very, lots of games. And so it's not easy, but they, I still believe they're going to make a playoff. Are you surprised to be back, though? I mean, I, I guess I was going to ask you, are you, were you surprised at the, the success you had there? In the fact, you're playing at power play and getting a lot of ice time early on. And now that you're, what, six weeks, seven weeks after the recall, now you're back here. Are you surprised that you're back in Grand Rapids, Thomas? Yeah, I like, to be honest, uh, I... It, like I expect to go, gonna be sent down eventually when guys gonna get back. But since I could uh, like did that good, you know, I could I thought I could stay a little longer. But um, like I said, guys uh, deserve a chance too, you know, and uh, so I don't blame them. And 
they could make some space for us right now too, but this is just the way how it is. They sign guys before the season, so you can't really change it. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be pretty excited for you right now. Aren't they back home? Yeah, they were. I tried getting him over, but you know, like we, I live day by day, so it's kind of hard to call him over and say to them, like, okay, let's watch, let's come here and watch me, like, play three games, and I didn't even know if I get sent down after the one, you know, so it's so hard, but I, I'm pretty sure they're going to come next year. And yeah, doing what you do, Tomas, great to have you back, buddy, and uh, looking forward to uh, what should be a heck of a stretch run for this Griffins team. Oh, yeah, we look great. I think even when I was gone, like, or no matter who's playing here, just the way how guys are playing or how they stick together, and I think Coach is doing a really good job. So no matter who's playing here, the Griffins is still winning. So, I mean, um, this is a really good run for us, and I hope we won't stop and we will run till the uh, rest of the season. We might do, we might win the league. We'll see what's going to happen. Well, he, he'll be a Red Wing next year for sure, and one thing, one stipulation we just talked about is you're not playing for Detroit unless Bob Kayser and Brad Thompson are with you. Yeah, I would like to guys have you up there too. You know, I miss you. I miss uh, some people from Grand Rapids when I was up there. But uh, you never know, guys. We might all, all meet there one day, you know. Thomas, thanks, buddy. No problem, Bob. Tomas Tatar joining us here doing an